I attended several paint pouring sessions with a wonderful teacher in Ottawa named Brenda. You can find her on Instagram as Art in Jest. I will link her down below. During one of her classes, she told the class to picture what we wanted from the paint. To look at the colors, the layers, the canvas, and imagine what we wanted the outcome to look like. Now, I went into the class knowing exactly what I wanted my painting to look like. I had rows of pictures saved from browsing on Pinterest for fluid acrylic paintings. They were galaxies and geodes and layers of bold colors. So I sat there in class, scrolling through these pictures to refresh my memory. And after a moment of visualizing the flow and contrast of swirls and cells I wanted in the final product, she told us to take it all and let it go. The paint will be poured and the outcome will be unapologetically unplanned. Sure, she told us, there are some elements we can incorporate or change to impact the outcome. Adding silicone may increase the paint cells. Changing how much medium I add to the paint may change how fast it flows. Picking more vibrant colors or more contrasting colors may change how they mix or stay separate. But ultimately, in paint pouring, there's a lot we can't control. In this pour you see now, I had planned for a geological, topographical looking canvas with earthy tones and mineral looking layers. I ended up with, well, a muddy winter scene. And as you'll see, the paint couldn't quite stretch to the ends of the canvas, but I decided to leave it. I'm letting the canvas corners contrast with the muddy reds and greens. Quote from Haruki Marukami states, whatever it is you're seeking won't come in the form you're expecting. I've been working on trying to reflect on some of my expectations outside of painting. My expectations for these YouTube videos, for example, how I expect them to turn out, how I expect their reception and other expectations about my day, my work, about others. I'm trying to acknowledge that I have them, be it intentional or not and perhaps try letting them go, or at least let some of them go. Like the painting, there are things I can do, actions I can take to change my videos, change my work routine, change my situation, but expectations for some ultimate outcome may not serve me. But anyway, this is a long-term goal. For now, I am going to hope for a beautiful, Pinterest-worthy paint pour, I'm going to plan for the steps to create careful paint layers, but I'm going to expect a mud puddle.